Um, so one of the things that you mentioned in our initial conversations, uh, and that, but that we've talked less about is, is this, and quote, due to the lack of gender equality in cybersecurity, many of the resulting products developed aren't made to protect women online. This is especially a danger with women increasingly the target of dangerous and violent cyber attacks. So can you talk about some examples of this that you've seen and talk about some ways that you and the folks in Women Impact Tech have been working to bring attention to and change this massive dereliction of duty? Yeah, I'm so fortunate. It hasn't been personal, but I definitely have met with companies that have seen this type of cyber attack towards females in their organization. Oh, yeah. um, a lot of it during uh, COVID because mm -hmm. we had a lot more people working from home with excess time on their hands. And we saw a lot of bullying and just, you know, verbal yeah. attacks that we we didn't see um, mm -hmm. prior to that time. And I think a lot of the cyber specialists that I've talked to, they weren't prepared for that. They weren't really expecting to see women and children preyed upon as a population because we had idle hands. I hate to say it that bluntly, but mm -hmm. I think we had a lot of idle hands. We had idle, you know, time and, yeah. you know, it, sometimes we'll bring out the worst in the worst people. And I, I think yep. we were ill prepared for that. We weren't thinking as cyber specialists or analysts that we needed to stay two steps ahead of that. And I do mm -hmm. think we learned a very powerful lesson that we should be expecting ill behaviors from certain types of people in different time periods. Yep. And I think, you know, <sighs> Sadly, it's no different than the AI innovations that we're seeing. And because there aren't a lot of female developers on the AI side, we're having a lot of bias in that space for technology. I do think cyber, we've been somewhat fortunate because there was some, you know, disproportionate number of women working in the cyber space, um, specifically to be expecting the type of attacks that we saw towards women and even children through a uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. I think we're still experiencing that with AI currently right now, mm -hmm. almost at the height because of gender bias and development. So we're going right. to have to really, I think, for certain jobs, take a deeper analytics approach to what is the impact of not having better equality from your technologists that are developing a lot of these um, tools. And if it's not just about AI and things like that, and we go back to cybersecurity, do you have enough diversity on your team that can really stay three steps ahead? Have you seen WorkBytes, the new security awareness training series from InfoSec? Our team produced this series with three E's in mind, making security awareness training entertaining, engaging, and educational. Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to learn more about this hilarious office comedy. And hey, let us know what you think about it.